Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the AFAL champ, the adult fan of LEGO champion, here with another classic set. Since I'm apparently doing a lot of classic sets here recently. Set 11008. And my cat's going to try to break into the room. Uh, set 11008, Bricks and Houses. So I got this set quite a while ago, and it's been sitting in my backlog, and I've been trying to dig out some parts that I want for building stuff, so I've been getting out of these classic sets. And I don't know what it was, but I thought that uh, I thought this set was going to be bigger than this. It's only like 280 pieces. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I remember uh, getting a deal on it. So hopefully the price to part ratio was good. I don't think it was as good as a lot of classic sets always are. But in terms of the pieces that we do have, or that it does come here, or come with, I do like it. Um, again, it's bricks and houses, so you're doing a lot of like true build, like building up. You're not doing a lot of detailed build because it's also, again, a classic set. So you can see what it comes with a lot of like big plates. Oddly enough, this is the only tan piece in the whole thing. A lot of big plates and a lot of kind of standard bricks, you know, two by fours, one by threes, one by twos, stuff like that. And not a lot of weird modified parts, either plates or bricks. I actually like that. It's a lot of, again, a lot of bricks and a lot of slopes of various colors. And in fact, a lot of the slopes are black. There's actually a pretty fair amount of blue uh, and red slopes. So I actually like getting a lot of the like black and white uh, slopes. Those are, I would say, more useful than others. Uh, the most rare piece, I think, was this one. This has only ever been in three this dark blue, like, double slope has only ever been in three sets. This is the third one. One was one of those, like, storybook Disney sets, and the other was, I think, an architecture set. There's some other kind of rare pieces. I know this was a rare one. I think it's been in four. Maybe this one's only been in, like, five or something like that. That's the other thing. There's a lot of, uh, I mean, it's bricks and houses, so there's a lot of, you know, windows. Not many doors, but there's a lot of windows. Um, the other thing that did kind of surprise me is if you kind of look through it, there's lots of little like leaf pieces. You got two different colors of green leaves. You got, uh, the violet, I think that's medium violet, uh, flower. There's the light blue flower. You've got a, a bunch of those in pinks and pinks over here. Like you get, you get a lot, a lot more of those than I would have anticipated. Um, I mean, I'm not going to tell you it's perfect. Uh, there are parts that you know like like do we really need this many like lime green pieces there's also if i look through it like a bunch of these bright green pieces those are like disproportionate within the greens if you look in the blues i don't need all these kind of random weird like azures and stuff that i'll probably never use like again two dark dark azure windows like probably will never use that i'd much rather have a whole bunch of you know grays and whites and blacks and regular green colors or brown there's barely any brown in here like again look through that there's hardly anything in there uh, when you look at the builds there i mean of course they're classic builds so they're pretty primitive but if you actually look at the builds particularly these first two here on the front you have the igloo and the castle yellow castle i actually really like both of those this isn't a bad build here either, this house right here. This actually kind of looks like the house at the bottom of the big wind turbine. But then the one that just cracks me up, actually, I don't even know. Never mind, I was thinking of something else. The fact that this picture that they included, talk about a horrendous, like, it, I, I know that this stuff is in here to make it. They didn't have the directions for it, but how ridiculous. That doesn't look like anything, and that definitely not something that should be on your advertisement. But anyway, uh, if I'm going to grade this set, I, I do like it for a classic set. Again, it's you're taking in mind that it's a classic set. You're getting lots of you know building parts, windows, um, bricks, some sta some standard plates, particularly bigger plates. You're always going to get a rainbow of colors though with classic. The price to part isn't spectacular but it's good compared to other just general sets particularly better than getting you know if i wanted to buy just a bunch of of these off of uh bricks and pieces or brick link or something it, you know this is a better way to get just regular two by fours or filler bricks or anything like that 
So I think I am, I'm going to give it a B. I'm going to give it a B overall. And it could be a lot worse. could be better. It could be a lot worse. So um, hopefully this has been a good uh, five minutes of your life or so. Hopefully my shaky hand uh, hasn't made this video too unwatchable. Hopefully you leave me a comment. Tell me if you agree, disagree. Uh, any comments or suggestions, again, will be greatly appreciated. I hope I hear from you soon. I hope you hit the like button. I hope you hit the subscribe button so that you hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.